Um, it's not funny. We've been working on that for a while, and they pressured us, and we didn't fight back, and so we got to make sure we take care of that on our end. Coach, what makes you think pressure defense so difficult to prepare for? Um, there's, I mean, 94 creates the whole 40 minutes, so it's, I mean, it's tough. They are tough, and when they get one steal, it kind of like snowballs. They get another one, another one, and it fuels their fire, just puts more energy, and so we just got to make sure we're taking care of the ball. From the very beginning, I think we started the game with four turnovers straight, and we can't do that and get behind. Do you feel your team is improving? No, sorry, I think so, but getting better? Um, yeah, little by little. I think this game, I mean, we took a step backwards as far as turnovers go. Um, but again, I mean, we shot the ball well. We had four players in double figures. Like, we, I think we have rebounded them, right? Yep, we have rebounded them. So there are certain positive things, but still, I want, I mean, that's one huge glaring thing that we've got to take care of. Coach, uh, <clears throat> being able to bring this, your program to where you want it to be, what, just the four, first uh, four games in the Big 12, where do you want to, is it a step-by-step -step process or game-by-game? Yeah, game? It's, da it's daily. Every time we go in the gym, we have to get better. And so, I mean, being in the Big 12, you can't take days off as far as, like, practices. You can't just go through the motions one day. You have to get better. In games, you can't go through the motions. You have to get better. And, you know, I told them in the locker room, this is what we signed up for. This is what we came to. I mean, this is the one of the, I mean, the best conference in the nation, right? This is what we want to be, where we want to be. And we play the best of the best every night, and you don't get any games off. You don't get any nights off. And so for me, that's a challenge. That's something that's hard, and it's worth fighting for. And once you get that first win, I think it's going to feel really, really good. And one can turn into two to three, and, but you got to get that first one. you got to get over the hump. And I just keep telling them, keep believing, keep fighting, because you got to love hard. It's rewarding in the end. What makes Big 12 basketball so challenging? Um, well, first of all, the coaches that are in it, I think every coach in the Big 12 is someone, and they've been someone, done something. Um, and I, I mean, they're all, when we get in these meetings as Big 12 coaches, they all are really great people and, I mean, creating great cultures for these women. And then secondly, the players that come in. Um, I mean, these are three, four, five star players every night out that we're playing. It's not just one on every team, there's three, four, five. And so, you, and the role players are good too. So it's like you got to go guard, and you got to guard all five people. And we tried to switch the zone twice tonight, and both times they hit a three on us, and so it's like we're right back out, you know. And when we were in the WCC, I mean, you could get away with, you know, kind of trying to mix that up a little bit, and you know, see, but they punish us, and they punish us from the get go. So we got to be better. And have you noticed? More questions? Have you noticed a boost in recruiting last year in Big Twelve? Oh, of course. Kids talk to us now, but we talked to us before. Um, the Big 12 is huge, and so, but I mean, we love being here, but we got to win games to get those recruits. Coach, can I just ask you a, a quick question about Kaylee Smiler, uh, kind of what she did tonight. She's been solid for you guys for the last couple of games, obviously, but it felt like she really kind of unlocked another gear because she had the efficient she was a couple different times. She had four or five from three. So what did she do tonight? And, and do you feel like this is, was maybe a, a good moment for her to kind of realize maybe it's the next level that she can that she can get to? Yeah, this mine has been uh, knocking down shots for us all year and all last year. She's that's what she does, and so when you can get her with her feet set, like it's it's money. And so I think that last one, she flipped around <laughs> at the bench, and I didn't understand what she was doing. And then now that I see her stats, I get it. <laughs> um, but she was on fire, and we got to um, be able to find her and set her up for things like that. But She's, she just is leading us in that nature and always just fighting for us. Coach, lastly, that 14-0 run that you all made in the second quarter, that point, when you call, when, the time, when they went to the media timeout, it was interesting on the look on, that, on everybody's faces, like, okay, they're back in this game now. Um, yeah, and I, I mean, coming into the huddle, like, we finally cut the deficit, and there was a couple of things. We took care of the ball, first of all, and we played good defense. And so as long as you're doing that, and even when we got down the second half, stops, you got to get stops and scores, stops and scores. And it's, it's not, you're not going to play hero ball. you got to do it one possession at a time. And that's what I was trying to teach them. And so that's when we went on that run. I don't think anybody knew how long that run was or how, I mean, how much we climbed back because it was just stops to score, stop scoring. If you stay in that, in that mind frame, it makes the game pretty simple.
pretty simple. 